Now, when you're looking at the Dremio UI, a cool thing you can do is when you create these queries that you plan on maybe running multiple times, is you can save them as a view. So I can actually have two choices. I can save them as a script that I can run against. So as you can see here, I have many different demo scripts that I have here saved uh, for being able to conduct demos on the fly. But I also can save this as a view so it can show up like a data set. Okay, and this can allow us to construct a robust semantic layer. And just to show you an example, let's pretend that right here I have a tax collections data product in a sense. Okay, so the idea here is here's where we're gonna put all our tax collections data and we're gonna do a medallion type architecture where we have our raw data in bronze. So if I go and you see the purple icons, this means it's a physical data set. So these are the actual physical iceberg tables with the actual data. Okay, so now if I go and I query one of these tables, okay, I see there's a few records and I notice that there's a null there. Okay, so there's some cleanup work that I need to do because this is again, this is the raw data. But now if I go back, what happened was in there, in my silver folder, I did this cleanup. And notice these are green icons, which means these are views. So these are not copies of the data. These are just basically logical SQL views on the data that I created. And I'll show you the SQL in a moment, okay? But then if I run this, I'm gonna notice that I had taken care of the these nulls here and see like the nulls are gone, okay? But then as another sort of layer of changes, I wanted to join the two data sets I had in there. So if I go back to my tax collections data, again, in silver, I have business taxes and individual taxes, and I wanted to create a single view of all the tax data. So in our gold folder, I aggregated both tables. So now we just have all the tax records with that have already been cleaned up because they're a join of the silver quality records. Okay, so basically no nulls, all the nulls have been cleaned up. And now I have a unified view, but none of this created a copy of the data. These are all logical views. Okay, so I'm creating layers of logical views without duplicating the data, without increasing sort of my file storage footprint. Okay, um, and then again, you know, if this was like a really large data set and I wanted to create a BI dashboard off of it, I can always enable reflections uh, to get that sub-second performance on a BI dashboard. But just to kind of show you the SQL behind this, okay, and again, just makes crafting sort of a very easy to see uh, approach is if I go to the SQL editor, I have it saved as a script. So again, the beauty of scripts, I can easily search my scripts. I can just type in demo semantic layer. Okay, I can see here that I entered the data. Okay, but then I create, all I have to do is I created a view. Uh, I cleaned up the nulls using a couple of the SQL functions available here on Dremio. And then I created the the uh, the union view uh, or the view in the gold folder right afterwards. And again, I can curate sort of our data model very easily using SQL. Okay, and the cool thing is that none of this is accessible to an average user. So you make a new user account, they don't see any of this. They don't see any of the sources. They don't see any of the sets. If I want a particular user to be able to see the tax collections product, okay, I'd have to go over here, okay, and I'd have to give them access. Okay, and I can, what I would do is I would use SQL to be able to grant access to individual data sets, to individual uh, objects in my storage. Okay, so I can go over here as an example, okay and I can change the settings. And then from the settings, we can then, you know, handle privileges and give users with specific roles or specific users uh, access to this data set. And then also, we also have the ability to do a row and column based rules using user defined functions. So you can easily basically allow users to see the data, but not see the data they shouldn't be seeing and mask certain rows and columns based on rules that you create. Okay, so you can create a robust, secure, semantic layer to access your data across all your sources. So I can curate data across all my sources here and make it easily visible and easily organized. And not only am I able to kind of create the visual organization, but I'm also able to create documentation. So for example, if I go over here to uh, the gold folder, okay, and I go to that tax record set here, let's say I want to create documentation. Okay, right here is where you can create the wiki here in the details tab. You see this little pen, I can add some labels, but actually what I wanna do is I wanna edit the wiki. So I'm gonna go over to the detail section. Okay, and I can see that there's a wiki entry for this particular data set. I can actually generate the wiki using Dremio's generative AI features. So right now what it's doing is actually reading the data set, reading its schema, reading the data to generate uh, something informative about the information in this particular data set. And once it's done generating, I can literally just copy this over. So I can just literally click the copy button, paste it right over, save it, and now other users who are looking at this data set can get a at least a, a cursory idea, a starting place for documentation on how the data set's set up that they can look at. 
like not only does generative AI help us in documenting our data sets, but it also helps us in running our queries. So over here, I can click the generative AI feature. So for example, um, let's say I want to query the, 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 the taxi data set. What I can do is I can just go to that data set over here. So I'll just choose the taxi trips data set, drag that over here and say, hey, I want the average um, average trip distance in kilometers by passenger count. Okay, I'm li literally just writing natural language. I'm gonna have it generate uh, some SQL for me. So basically it's aware of Dremio's SQL syntax. It's aware of the data set. And here it gives me, so there, perfect. It's taking the trip distance and multiplying it by the right number to get the kilometers. Okay, and then it's averaging that out, perfect. And then it's grouping it by passenger count. Okay, and it just automatically generated that for me. So you don't have to be an SQL expert to really take advantage of Dremio's features, along with a lot of other really nice UI bits for working with these data sets. So if I were to run this query, okay. Uh, oh, there's just too many spaces here. Okay. So let me just clean this up a little bit. Okay, and then let's run that query. Okay, and there in less than one second, we got the results. And again, if I wanted to go back and do further work in curating this, again, there's actually a lot of tools built right into the UI. I can go over here, I can convert the data type of columns, I can do group buys using a wizard. So there's a lot of things you can do without having to be an SQL expert to curate the data you need. So again, Dremio is making this not only easier by making it where you can do SQL to sort of create virtual data marts and warehouse and model your data, but it's also giving you tools to even make the SQL part easier, okay? So let's go take a look at some other features.